Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today with the truth about the Fallout Legacy Collection. You know, I woke up this morning and I had a bunch of tags in my patron discord saying, it's happening, oh my god, it happened Maddie. And I got so excited, I popped out of bed thinking, is KOTOR coming back? Is Fallout 3 coming back? And I found out that the Fallout Legacy Collection is officially happening, you know, the leak from a couple of days ago. However, it's happening in the exact way we predicted, in the exact way we expected, and that makes me a little bit sad. So in today's video, we'll be getting into the news, and then I'll be breaking down some research I was doing originally for a follow-up video before this announcement was made. So let's get started with the Bethesda UK Twitter account. The announcement tweet reads, Please stand by for pre-order in the UK, a collection of Fallout titles for PC, featuring Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout Tactics, Fallout 3, Game of the Year, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition, and Fallout 4, Game of the Year. This product will be released on October 25th, oh, the same day as The Outer Worlds. I'm wise to you, Bethesda, in Germany and the UK, so no mention of a US launch. Now, like I said, I find this announcement peculiar. Fans of Bethesda seem to feel the same way. In fact, someone saying that this collection was completely pointless, to which Bethesda justified this collection by saying, well, the anthology didn't have the Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition inside it, which to me, I say, fooey, who gives a dang? We obviously want Fallout 3 and New Vegas to come to current consoles. The older Fallout titles, we'll see if that's actually possible with some information I managed to dig up up but anyway we're going to be packing a lot of information into this video and hey speaking of packs what about the bethesda rpg pack yes hot on the tail of the leak for the fallout legacy collection right after i posted my original video for this leak i was sent another one from the german site for amazon yet again so it seems like they're getting more bethesda products this time like i said the bethesda rpg pack containing fallout 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. Now, once again, like I said with the Fallout Legacy Collection, very good bang for your buck, but it seems like Bethesda's just helping out their EU folks here with these announcements and releases. But strangely enough, this is for both the PC and it is listed for the PS4. So this could be something that we see come to the States eventually, but I'm not holding my breath. And honestly, I've played these games both so, so much that I'm okay, I don't need like my sixth version of Skyrim. I bought it five times, I've counted. But why is Bethesda doing this? Why are they releasing older games for just Germany, for just the UK? Well, for the UK aspect, a little confused, but when it came to Germany, I actually managed to dig up that Fallout 3 was originally banned up until three years ago in Germany. And perhaps that's the reason why these re-releases are happening specifically in Germany, because these games were at one point not allowed. This part's hilarious. Ordinarily, that listing lasts for 10 years, but Bethesda said IGN took extraordinary steps to have it overturned early and was successful earlier this month. The government agency responsible for the listing said it has been removed because its content is no longer classified as harmful to minors from today's perspectives. And some of y'all out there really don't think that some of these game companies and these journalists are in bed together. Are you kidding me? IGN led the charge for Bethesda to get a game allowed in a country. The German government's Department for Media determined that this was harmful to minors since 2009, so it went on for a good number of years before Fallout 3 finally got unbanned in Germany. Now, I don't know if this is their response to it after all this time, or if this is just a simple re-release. It's very well possible I'm just looking too deep into it based off this news, because I imagine between then and now, Bethesda had capitalized on the fact that Fallout 3 was no longer banned. Imagine that. Imagine being someone in Germany and experiencing Fallout 3 for the first time there in 2016 and going, wow, what was your game of the year? Oh, Fallout 3. That's crazy, man. That is ridiculous. But what about the original Fallouts? One of the things... I've personally clamored for quite a bit is the re-release of the original Fallout on consoles because as I mentioned in my original video, you're seeing a lot of enhanced editions of old RPGs. For example, Wasteland 2 is on the Switch and I was thinking why not Fallout 1 and 2? It can't be that tough. Well, 
according to what I'm gonna call a rumor at this point in time, because I haven't seen any factual statements come from Bethesda representatives or Interplay representatives, but I see a lot of people posting on the internet that actually the source code for the original Fallouts no longer exists. Now, the reason I also treat this as a rumor is because there's a lot of remakes and fan games based off the original Fallouts, like the online Fallout games, not Fallout 76, of course, but these were created looking like the original Fallout games. So I have to assume maybe it's somewhere out there, but a lot of folks believe it's not there. And that's also why Bethesda has yet to port them over to consoles because on top of all this, when you think about games that have lost their source code, one of them was Spyro, which is why that never saw PlayStation until they had to fully remake the games. And obviously, when you look at a title like Fallout 1, and especially a meaty Fallout 2, which has so many different routes, so many different things that can happen in a playthrough that you have to account for, that is a very big game. Granted, games back then were easier to make, but to remake all of that from the ground up would take a lot of time for Bethesda rather than just porting it over. And I think considering that Fallout's legitimate large scale popularity in the terms of media and commercial success really took off with Fallout 3, I don't know how invested Bethesda is in taking these older Fallout games and spending resources on them to bring them to consoles, where I personally believe it very well may never happen. And this actually doesn't seem to be an uncommon thing. Now I mentioned enhanced editions coming to the Switch. These are games like Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, but actually when it comes to Icewind Dale 2, that is missing from the Nintendo Switch amongst all of these very old RPGs. And that's because according to Kotaku, nobody can find the source code for Icewind Dale 2. It's just apparently lost. Now, I'm not a game developer, okay? So I don't know how some of this stuff works, but all I'm gonna say is, how is this something people lose? How does this happen? I have to imagine it's gotta be something legally, or it's gotta be something that's on a single PC, and if that PC gets scrapped, like, that's all I can think of. This is the core to your game, right? This is your nucleus, so to speak. How does it just up and disappear multiple times throughout multiple companies? It has to be something that I am personally unaware of, but I've seen this come up a lot for these older titles where pretty much they would have had to be remade from the ground up, which obviously takes a lot of money and you may not have an audience there. Like there is an audience for Icewind Dale, Baldur's Gate. Of course, people want to go back to those titles, but is there enough people there to justify, hey, let's spend all this money, remake Icewind Dale 2, and make it something special? I think a lot of people would be excited. I've never played Icewind Dale, so just as a person who wants to get into these older games, I would be interested in that. But I think from a company perspective, I understand why not. Anyway, with all this information on the table, I think it clearly explains why we have not seen a Fallout collection make its way to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and that's mainly because I don't think Bethesda's able to when it comes to the older Fallout games, and when it comes to Fallout 3 and New Vegas, it's almost like they don't want to. And I saw this tweet sent to me that is so, so true that Bethesda has this pretty much get out of jail free card, right? With a Fallout 3 re-release. I know I'm speaking for everybody on that, but seriously, I think with that, with Fallout New Vegas coming back, at least you can experience your favorite Fallout games on current consoles. I know you can with backwards compatibility on Xbox One, so that is completely fair to say, but the PlayStation sort of just out there doing nothing. You can pay a bajillion bucks, even with that price code, I ain't paying for it, but for PlayStation now, you can stream the game. But let's be honest, a lot of us don't have the internet for that. I personally don't, and the internet is my job. So I would love to see Bethesda take it up, but I'm sort of about to put the dream away, I guess, because I just feel like they've had so many opportunities to do so, and I always remember a year ago when Bethesda was talking about Fallout anniversaries, and then they talked about Fallout Shelter during the 10-year anniversary of Fallout 3. It blew my freaking mind. I, I just feel like they're so tone deaf in that manner. They don't think they're doing anything wrong. Uh, they feel like they'll be okay just skating on by, and I, I really think they should just take a look in the mirror and go, you know what? We may not be the best right now. But here's a really easy way to do so. You don't even have to upgrade a Bethesda, because I know with Skyrim Special Edition, they did new lighting and all these little effects, but ultimately it was still Skyrim. Like, we don't need all that. 
we just want the games, right? Like, we just want these games to work on current consoles. That's all I care about, at least. I'll take what I can get, and like I mentioned from a viewer earlier, Bethesda has this get-out-of-jail-free card, and they're just not using it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up today's video, the truth about the Fallout Legacy Collection. I am sorry if you are disappointed. Can't say I didn't warn you, though, because I said in the first minute of my original video, this is probably not what we think it is. So if you got excited, it is on you, mate. Anyway, I'd love to hear from all of you in the comments down below. Be sure to fire away. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.